हॅलो एव्हरीवन वेलकम टू द कोलॅबोरेटिव्ह लर्निंग सेशन माय सेल्फ निकिता खोडे टुडे आय एम गोईंग टू रिप्रेझेंट ऑन डेंटल इम्प्लिकेशन ऑफ ट्युबर क्लॉसिस गायडेड बाय डॉक्टर भूषण सर क्वेश्चन आस्क फ्रॉम दिस टॉपिक इन एम एच एस एक्झाम शॉर्ट नोट ऑन मॅनेजमेंट ऑफ मेडिकली कॉम्प्रोमाइज ट्युबर क्लॉसिस पेशंट इन ओरल सर्जरी सो टू अंडरस्टँड दिस टॉपिक वी विल कन्सिडर अ केस इन विच पेशंट कम्स टू अ क्लिनिक with active infection of tb or history of tb then what should you do should you proceed with the treatment do extraction or not or will you have any physical consent if you proceed with the treatment then how will you manage the patient so here i am to answer all this question first we will know what basically tuberculosis is it is a potentially serious infectious bacterial disease that mainly affects the lung but can affect almost any part of the body around 1/3 of the world population is infected with tb causative organism tb is mainly caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis which is the most common agent of human disease mycobacterium bovis it is an important cause of infection in people who consume unpasteurized milk which is now uncommon and mycobacterium africanum these mycobacterium are slender curve obligate aerobic and have non motile rods transmission tb is transmitted from infected person to other person through droplet nuclei which is released by coughing sneezing and speaking risk factor certain group of people which are more likely to develop tb these group include poverty overcrowding diabetes silicosis alcoholism and immunocompromised state clinical features symptoms of active tb disease include coughing for more than 3 weeks loss of appetite loss of weight coughing out blood fever and night sweats feeling of tiredness and chest pain investigation we will evaluate person suspected with tb in the following way first thorough history like when the disease was first diagnosed does the patient still have the symptoms of active infection is he under any medication if yes for how long then second physical examination we will check for any signs or symptoms present third tuberculin skin test like mount 2 test it determines if a person is infected with tb germ or not fourth sputum test it shows the presence of acid fast bacilli fifth chest radiograph it is a important diagnostic tool it may show radiographic pattern like consolidation collapse pleural effusion or miliary last blood test it gives us idea about total blood cell count treatment of tb the main aim of treatment is to cure the patient decrease transmission of tuberculosis to other prevent relapse prevent morbidity and mortality from active disease and to prevent late effects anti tubercular drugs these drugs work against tb classified into two first line drug and second line drug first line drugs include rifampicin isoniazid ethambutal paracetamol while second line drugs include yothinamide fluoroquinolone streptomycin etc all these anti tubercular drugs have potentially serious adverse effect and require careful monitoring If patient compliance is considered to be poor directly observe therapy may be indicated where drugs are dispensed by and taken in presence of healthcare professional immunization using bcg is advocated for school children high risk individual and healthcare professionals relation of tb and dental treatment in dental clinic operator uses high speed dental instrumentation in patient which creates an aerosol of water saliva and potentially infectious droplet through the air water irrigation system which are necessary to prevent overheating during dental preparation if these particles are inhaled by operator he can get infected for this reason he should follow all personal respiratory protection protocol dental consideration now we will see what should be done when patient with active infection or history of tb comes to the clinic first patient with active tuberculosis only emergency dental treatment carried out engineering control and personal respiratory protection needed what is 
engineering control it means use of devices that eliminates or reduces chance of exposure to blood or saliva with the help of rubber dam high volume evacuation or red bag second patient with active signs or symptoms suggestive of tb we will refer patient to physician for evaluation only emergency dental treatment carried out engineering controls and personal respiratory protection needed until active tuberculosis has been ruled out third history with tuberculosis routine dental treatment appropriate after it is established that patient has been adequately treated and followed and there are no signs and symptoms of active disease establish history of treatment and medical follow up postpone routine treatment and consult with physician if treatment or follow up evaluation is questionable or if signs and symptoms of active disease are present fourth patient with positive tuberculin skin test with no history of tuberculosis and no signs or symptoms of active disease routine dental treatment appropriate after it is established that patient does not have active infection establish history of medical evaluation and prophylactic therapy consult with physician if there is any question of the presence of active disease dental management of tb patient now we will see how to manage tb patient in dental clinic no elective treatment is rendered until patient gets clearance from his physician it is appropriate to perform emergency and palliative procedure however routine dentistry should be deferred until patient is on appropriate drug therapy and infective period has lapsed if emergency treatment is necessary the patient should be treated following all universal protocols using high efficiency particulate air filters that is hepa filters these filters that remove particles more than 0.3 micrometer in diameter and use of laminar air flow cabinets these cabinets sterilize the air that flows over the infectious material and also the air flows in sheet which serve as a barrier two particles from outside cabinet and directs the flow of contaminated air into hepa filters these cabinets are known as laminar flow biological safety cabinets in actively infected patient the air expelled when coughing is infectious and should be avoided once sputum cultures are negative the patient is considered to be non infective and it is appropriate to do routine dental therapy methods of prevention of infection reduction of splatter and aerosol by minimizing coughing and avoiding ultrasonic instrument use of rubber dam are important improved ventilation ultraviolet germicidal light new mask and personal respirators and other personal protective devices are indicated mycobacterium are very resistant to disinfectant so that heat sterilization must be used tb and anesthesia local anesthesia is safe and satisfactory while general anesthesia is contraindicated for dental treatment because of the risk of contamination of the anesthetic apparatus and because of impaired pulmonary function relative analgesia is contraindicated because of the risk of contamination of the apparatus the drug interaction with antitubercular agents must be considered while prescribing the dental treatment since antitubercular drug have serious adverse effect So this was all about TB and dental implication reference to this topic was taken from this following books hope you enjoyed it thank you